my name is Chris Joran and I'm an application engineer with Trimac. Today we're going to be talking about weldments, um, how to create them, and more specifically what to do once we've created them. So what I have here is a simple sketch of the cross section of a popsicle stick. I'll be using this in a later video tech tip, so stay tuned for that one. Um, but this is how, basically how we start a weldment, just with a 2D sketch. So we can add our dimensions in, and we have a part with one sketch in it. To create the weldment itself, all we do is select the sketch. We can see that it's now highlighted. Go to File, Save As. We can see a few different options here. We want to save this as a library feature part. So where do we save this? Um, that all depends on your workflow, where you want to save it. If you want um, custom folders for your weldments that you're going to be using at work, if you just want to throw them in the SolidWorks folders, uh, we'll discuss both of these. But for now, I'm just going to save it to the desktop. So we can see this little L here next to the sketch, which says that this has now been saved as a library feature part. So to see where our weldments are saved, we're going to go under Options, File Locations, and look for weldment profiles. So by default, delete that one. This is where you're going to find your weldment profiles. And the program files, all the way down through English, weldment profiles. What we're going to do here is add a new folder. We just want to add the desktop. So we'll select desktop. All right, the desktop has been added. We do want to make the change to the search path. I get a couple elevation requests. So now we'll see if we can go ahead and add that weldment to another sketch here. So I'm going to click on my weldments tab, create the weldment feature, and then start adding a structural member. <clears throat> so we'll see here under standard, uh, we have ANSI inch, we have ISO, desktop, desktop 2, and training templates. So what these, all of these folders are, are folders that I have on my desktop. So we can see right now, there's a bit of a problem here. What it's looking at is this top level folder of desktop, and under the standard, it's looking for another folder. Well, we save that profile directly to the desktop. So there's nothing I can really select here. Um, don't get confused by that. I have a folder on my desktop called desktop. So if we look further deep, deeper into the options here, we can see under type, all these other options. So if I select say desktop and go to type, these are all the folders that I have inside of that desktop folder. So it's gonna look for another folder. So just by nature of that, we're actually gonna jump to the desktop itself. And we'll see we have our library feature part here. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and create a new folder here. So we're gonna think of this as our standard. So our standard is going to be, I don't know, custom profiles, all right. And within custom profiles, if you remember, we go back to this weldment itself. After standard, we have type. So now we need a folder for type. So we'll create a new folder. This is gonna be our type folder. So this is gonna be, um, I don't know, we'll say crafting materials. I'm gonna go ahead and close this part. And I'm going to drag this popsicle stick library feature part into that crafting materials folder. So now back into SolidWorks. We're going to add our structure member again. So this time under standard, we're, again we're looking at the desktop, we see we have that custom profiles option. This is that first level folder that we created. So we have our top level, which is our desktop. Next level down we have custom profiles. Then for type, we have another folder that we called crafting materials. Finally, after that, we'll have the size that we want. And now we can simply create our weldment. So this is uh, something that comes up quite a bit. People will create a new weldment profile and it kind of disappears. They can't find it. So this is a little uh, tutorial on where to store your things. You, you want to have three folders, really. You want your top level folder, your secondary folder, and then your tertiary folder. And in that tertiary folder is where the actual weldment profile is going to be. So you do need three layers of folders, which is what we would see if we opened up where these weldment features 
Wellman profiles are actually stored. So Wellman profiles, and then it goes to ANSI or ISO, and then it goes to C channel, uh, and then it picks the size after that. So thanks for watching. This is a quick tip on how to create Wellman profiles and how to store them, and more importantly, how to find them. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the accompanying blog post or reach out to us 